feel like sharing it? Don't you know its name? No. Couldn't be better. It's revenge. So that's the third victory this week for relative newcomer Jake Lovell and Murphy, who in no time at all really have become the crowd's favourite. Jake's usually reluctant to give interviews, but I hope to catch him as he leaves the ring. This horse of yours, Murphy, he really is remarkable, isn't he? What are your plans for him? I know it's still a long way off, but you must be thinking of the Olympics. Well, you know, there's no, there's no harm in thinking. And this young horse of yours we saw at Birmingham, Revenge, he looked a very exciting prospect. You know he needs some more time, about another year. OK? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jake. Stop fussing. <coughs> Billy, why don't you take the dogs out for a walk? Oh, yeah, good idea. I could do this some And turn off the music. Uh -huh. <clears throat> What's the matter now? going to go on living with us as much as I'm fond of him we can't go on living like this forever according to you according to me he can go on living here as long as I say so because Poppet this is my house no this is our home but this is my house now if you don't mind calling Billy back we're in the middle of the game don't you want to hear what else I have to say no well if it's in a similar vein I far rather play poker. I'm pregnant. <laughs> That's wonderful. Really? <laughs> that is wonderful. Really, Rupert? Oh, Rupert, I, I didn't know how you would take this. I thought you might. You're crazy. I couldn't be more delighted. <laughs> Quickly, come on, upstairs before Bloody <laughs> B gets back here. I cannot resist pregnant women. 
good. Going evenly both sides now. Come on. Jake! Jake! Jake, it's Tori, quickly! Fenn, get the car. Come on, Tori. It's okay. What do you mean you might be in Antwerp? I meant I might be in Antwerp, as in I might be in Antwerp. Hello, Billy. Evening, Helen. Helen wants me to clear my diary for the whole of March, so as I can be on hand when the new sprog arrives. Do you always have to discuss all of our personal matters in front of Billy? I'm not going in for all that shared experience nonsense. Rupert. Uh, G&T, Billy. Lovely if you have a look. Rupert, this is serious. I really want you to be there for the birth. Listen, let's discuss this nearer the time, OK? No! I want to discuss this now. Or maybe you don't want to discuss this now because you can't. Or, or rather, you won't face up to your real responsibilities. I haven't the foggiest idea what you're talking about. Have you, William? Yeah. Mm. You two are both the same. You indulge each other so that you do not have to face up to anything. I imagine it is because you're frightened of coming to terms with the fact that you are both adults and not a couple of little kids in short pants. I do hate the way you Americans call trousers pants, don't you, William? Yeah. Waistcoats, vests, braces, suspenders. A and why didn't you tell me my photographs had come back? For God's sake, Rupert! Well, you might have told me my photographs were back. Oh, well, all the ones I took of the dogs have come out rather well. Look <laughs> here, William. Oh, maybe sweetheart. What a funny woman. Hello. Look. It's a lovely girl, oh. Tori. Oh. Oh. Mr. Davis, please contact the RSJA. Uh, hoping to make it three out of three, are you, Jacko? <laughs> well, not that you've got anything to do with it, Humpty. <laughs> Billy's going to like that very much. Where have you been? Billy and Lavinia finished in Milan. Ah. I can't really remember every horse Rupert goes after. How's Rupert taking to the idea of becoming a father? I think he would rather that I just stayed pregnant. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just the same. Uh, Jake got a bit close to that one, didn't he? Fine. Isn't that the ugliest beast you've ever seen? Excepting his rider. Probably don't remember me. No, afraid I don't. Molly Carter, Maxwell, that was. You did the season with my daughter, Tori. Victoria Maxwell. Married to J. 